私はカコンシスのイルーシアこの国を守るために共に頑張りましょう追撃しろカコンシスのために作戦を執行する10年前あの出来事が起こって以来私はもうそのような感情を忘れてしまいましたこの手でヴィンセントを葬る時こそ私の罪が償われる時 Hey everyone, this is Nitro. It is November 5th, 2020, and it's a Thursday, which means another update has been released for Langrisson Mobile. This is a minor update as opposed to a major one, but several things get released with this update. So let's go into the events section and take a look. First off is a new banner. So let's jump into the banner itself. So the banner is called Generals of Destiny. Obviously, referring to the fact that it's a Destiny Summon banner. Destiny Summon means that the first SSR hero you summon during this event is guaranteed to be an event banner hero you don't have. So, if you're missing Geralt and Layla, Knight of Mysteries, or Elusia, you're guaranteed to get one of those three that you don't have. If you have all three, of course, it just turns into a three character higher rate banner, which is not really recommended for summoning. You can, of course, exchange. Assuming you have one of the heroes at six stars, you'll get a space time essence, the item in the middle, and then you can use the space time essence to exchange for shards of a different hero. But keep in mind, it needs that hero at six stars for the exchange. Other than that, for of the three heroes in this banner, I would say Geralt and Layla is pretty critical simply because if you use t i e r i s that. Um, Geralt and Layla unlocks t i e r i s s fourth bond, like the defense and hit point increasing one. So, if you're missing Geralt and Layla, you might very well have to consider drawing this banner. Knight of Mysteries, I think Knight of Mysteries unlocks Elusia's bond, and that's pretty much it. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't even use my Knight of Mysteries, even I got it very recently. So, I don't think it's a big deal whether you have Knight of Mysteries or not, unless you're using Elusia. As for Elusia, I'm currently missing her from my box.、Uh, she's one of the characters I currently don't have if I go into the gallery. And frankly, I'm not convinced to draw for her either. As you can see, I don't have Elusia, I don't have Helena. There's a few heroes I'm missing. Emilia is also missing,、um, as well as Rosalia. So, the reason I'm not that interested in drawing for Elusia, though, is very simple. First of all, I have absolutely zero plans to build her. Just like Amelia, I don't plan to build her up at all. Second, I don't think she bonds up anybody.、Right? So, if she's not bonding anyone and I don't plan to build her, why would I draw for her? The one reason I might draw on this banner is if there was like another future, let's say, Strategist of Destiny banner or something.、Right? And that Strategist of Destiny banner, like this one, consists of only Strategist heroes. And most importantly, that Strategist banner would maybe have, let's say, Elusia along with the upcoming major update hero, Florentia. Because、right? Florentia is one hero that I'm convinced I must draw for. And if Florentia ends up on a Destiny summon banner with Elusia, that makes it. So, that I am forced to draw on this current banner. However, keep in mind, I do still have 14 days to decide whether to draw on this banner or not. There are 14 days left on it. So, I'm going to wait and see.、Yeah. See what banners are released in the next two weeks on the Chinese server. If one of them is indeed a Destiny Summon with Florentia and it also has Elusia, I'll draw on this banner right away. If not, I may very well just hold off entirely. Other than that, the store page has four new skins. Actually, I should say, it's not new skins, it's a rerun of the wedding skins that are currently in Langrisa Mobile. So you can get s h e f a n i e l s Sakura Spring skin, you can get s h e r i e s Runaway Bride skin, you can get Lana's Endless Love skin, and finally, you can get The skin that I have personally, personally already purchased, Luna skin.、Okay. Of these four, I honestly feel Luna skin is probably the only one worth purchasing. Because for Luna, 
Her Rose Petal Sonnet skin is by far her best skin. For the other three, Lana's Endless Love skin is actually inferior to her upcoming skin. So Lana's Popularity Poll skin is not released until February 25th of 2021. That's around three and a half to four months away. So we got a bit of time until it is coming out, but it is a gorgeous skin. She's wearing a very elegant blue and white dress. And the thing about this skin is even the sprite looks gorgeous. It's not just her skin look, the sprite also looks amazing. So as with any other popularity poll, like the recent Yulia and Bozel one, you're allowed to get one of the skins for free because they'll either give you the skin, you either pick a skin or you get the skin vouchers to buy the skin. And then the other skin, you'll have to pay 118 skin vouchers for. So for those who are interested, the first skin obviously is of Lana, as you see here. And then the other skin is for Ares, because Ares was the other character that won the popularity poll. So in this skin, Ares is riding on a World War II style aircraft. So the sprite looks really, really fun, I suppose. And the skin itself is pretty good looking for those who are into World War II era pilots and whatnot. Am I going to buy this skin? That is ultimately the question because it all depends on how many skin vouchers I have You know, four months from now. I, from my count, I may very well lack skin vouchers. So most likely I'm 100% going to get Lana's skin for free. As for the 118 skin vouchers for the Aries skins, that will ultimately depend on whether I have skin vouchers at that point. Like for example, if Rachel's Valentine skin that was 188 skin vouchers gets released, I'll probably pick that up and I will definitely not have enough skin vouchers for Aries. But we'll see. As for Cherie, Cherie's Runaway Bride skin is pretty nice looking, especially the actual artwork. But keep in mind that she also does have the Runaway Angel skin. And furthermore, she also has an upcoming sports skin. So this is the sports skin that she gets on February 4th, 2021. It's her in a tennis costume and it costs 118 skin vouchers. And in the flyer class, she is riding in, I guess, an eagle. <laughs> so there is this option for a skin in the future. Finally, for Shafenio Sakura Spring, I actually don't like this skin all that much. Um, I just don't like her expression. I don't like the way the sprite looks. So I'm not a fan of it. Uh, of course, she also has access to the Holy Knight Lady skin, which I believe was free for her. No. Shining Shoot is of course her Echoes of Light skin, which is arguably her best skin. But she also does have that cheerleader skin as well. So she has a wide variety of skins. And frankly, I feel this skin at 118 skin vouchers is just too expensive. I don't think I actually went over Luna's skin, which I felt was the most amazing one. So let me just bring that up. So I have it purchased. You can see it right here. Um, yeah, it's one of her prettiest skins. She does have a, also the Ivory Dancer skin, which is much more formal looking with her sitting at a piano. The sprite, in my opinion, for this skin is not as pretty as the sprite for her wedding skin. But with that said, some people may prefer her formal look in the... Um, sorry, in the hero page. And finally, some other people do prefer her swimsuit skin because it's much more revealing than the others. But once again, I feel like overall, the Rose Petal Sonnet skin, the sprite is the best one. As for which, uh, character, which skin you prefer to look at inside the hero page, that is more up to you. And I think that is everything with this update at this point. So one new banner, four new skins, nothing else added. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video useful to you. And on that note, Nitro out.